Eliminate uric acid tulfi and we start right now. Today's presentation came directly from a question that I received via email. Look for the email address in the comment section for this video. This video and subsequent videos come directly from your questions that I have downloaded either from my email or from the comments section of my videos. Uric acid tophi happen because of a hyperuricemic situation in the circulatory system. This is a person that is overproducing uric acid. Body has to put it somewhere, so you end up with nodules and tophi deposited in the soft tissues of the body. Therefore, the only way to get rid of tophi is to lower the circulating uric acid so that the uric acid that is deposited in the tophi will move from the soft tissue into the circulatory system where it can make its way to the kidney where it will be excreted into the urine. To eliminate tophi there are basically five main things that we need to do. Number one, eliminate the drivers or the triggers of hyperuricemia. This includes the elimination of all foods that cause hyperglycemia. Foods like potatoes, rice, grains, the elimination of sugar and all sugary items, the elimination of alcohol and all forms of alcohol. That means any kind of drink, whether it is wine or beer or hard liquor that is combined with some type of mixer. The elimination of all processed food and processed meat. Eliminate all calcium ion supplements because calcium ions initiate the crystallization of monosodium urate crystals. Do the following. Eat a whole real food environment with a wide range of protein, never getting stuck on having the same type of whole protein every single day. This is basically a low carb environment where we have eliminated the hyperglycemia, all of the sugar, pastas and rice, etc. Consider a urate lowering therapy. This is actually important because one of the most crucial things that we need to do in order to eliminate tophi is to get your circulating uric acid low, quite low, because we need, and this comes back to chemi chemical principles, we need the uric acid that is in the tophi to move from the tophi to the circulating system, the circulatory system, and the only way that that can happen is if the concentration of uric acid is lower in the circulatory system than it is in the tophi or in the joint where the tophi is existing. So talk Talk to your doctor about a uric acid lowering therapy. Consider a drug like allopurinol and then you must also decide on a uric acid concentration as a target that you will be shooting for. And it's my opinion, not being a medical doctor, but it's my opinion that you're going to need your circulating uric acid well under 4 mg per deciliter in order to foster the movement of uric acid or monosodium urate crystalline uric acid out of the tophi into the circulatory system where it can make its way to the kidney to be excreted into the urine. If possible, buy a finger sticking meter and monitor your uric acid. Monitor your uric acid when you first get up in the morning, other times over the course of the day, and before and after eating meals. This way you can come to understand what your average uric acid is, and then you can also see what the effect of certain foods is on your circulating uric acid, all of which will be super useful to you to figure out in your uric acid lowering therapy what your target ought to be in order to get the uric acid down appropriately low enough so that monosodium urate moves from the tophi into the circulatory system where it can get to the kidney once again to be excreted. And lastly, get yourself tested for sleep apnea. This is super crucial. Even if you don't snore, go get yourself tested because it's not necessarily true that you snore if you have sleep apnea. The problem with sleep apnea is that it causes numerous hypoxic events that happen over the course of the night and hypoxia causes the elevation in uric acid. So get tested for sleep apnea and find out if you've got a problem. If you don't, great. If you do, get yourself treated. I'd like to thank you for watching my presentation. 
If this information was valuable to you, please hit the bell so you know the next time I make a video. And also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.